Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our play-by video of Eldritch Horror, the Dreamlands, where we're still up against Atlatch Natcher, the Dreamweaver, and we are just about to start turn nine. Now, don't think there were any particular mistakes in the last episode, although when Mandy killed the buyer key, uh, I should have mentioned that she could have actually used it to travel somewhere instead. Obviously, she wanted to stay there because she wanted to take out that gate. So we just completely ignored that option. But I should have mentioned it seeing as it's on video. So thanks to Lunaria for pointing that one out. However, apart from that, I don't think anything particularly went wrong or was a big mistake. So let's carry on. But just before we go on to turn nine, let's recap what happened last time on The Dreamlands. Mandy had come to Gloria's hotel room and said she was going to be travelling and wondered if Gloria would accompany her. Gloria was pleased to join the young lady, so they packed all their gear and checked out. Leaving Ulthar behind them, they found themselves in a strange dark land. They watched as the fiery redhead took out a flying creature and then stepped through a crack in reality. Gloria heard someone yelling far off in the distance. When she investigated, she found a man caught in a web. She quickly freed him and they returned to the crack as Mandy stepped back, the crack sealing itself behind her. The man was very happy to have been rescued after a botched spell. He introduced himself as Damien Dark and gave Gloria a spell scroll and said she may have a use for it. Introductions were made all around. Damien said he'd be in their debt if he could stay with them as they made their way back out. Although Gloria still felt the loss of the ruby, she somehow felt that the world was slowly returning to its normal state, and perhaps it was time to return to the real world. Zoe walked the dreamlands. She didn't know how or why she was here, only that she had another task, and that she would know it when she saw it. Up ahead she found her task. Several men lay weak and dying, tied up in what she could only assume were cocoons made of webbing. Zoe looked around for her arcane blade, but there was nothing to help her cut the men free. With her bare hands, Zoe began to undo the webbing. Every time she looked down at her hands, however, she found more and more lacerations from the sharp webbing. Zoe steeled herself against the pain and forced herself to finish freeing the men. Zoe smiled grimly as she released the final cord. The men were free and her hands were a bloody mess, but there was still a giant spider out here somewhere that needed killing, and Zoe hated loose ends. Tommy was full of himself after slaying the Leng Spider. He felt unstoppable, as if nothing could trouble him in the slightest. Even the Zoogs were impressed by his moxie, and it proved to be easy work to finish negotiating the peace between them and the cats of Ulthar. Time to finish this once and for all. Tommy started to head back to Ulthar. Nothing would distract him from his destined purpose. His discipline was iron, his sense of purpose like an overloaded freight train running at maximum speed towards its destination. That is until he caught sight of the three gals laughing and giggling around a circular stone table, laden with wine and with food fit for royalty. Tommy stopped dead in his tracks and just stared. His mouth gaped open and hung slack as he took in the scene. Never had he seen such an alluring sight. The girls were scantily clad and perfect in every way, as if they existed solely to please Tommy's personal tastes. Their giggles were like music to his ears, and their sinuous body movements were mesmerising. They caught sight of Tommy and seemed overjoyed to see him. Oh, Tommy, sweetheart, we've been waiting for you. Come and join us. We will make you a very happy man. Tommy found himself walking towards them without a second thought. Er, uh, yeah, sure, he stammered. He found himself getting hot under the collar. He felt a jab of pain in his calf, shaking him from his lustful advance, and he glanced down in annoyance. A zoog, its paws wrapped around his ankle, 
getting dragged along behind him, had bit him. It chittered erratically at him, shaking its head left and right. A seed of realisation hit Tommy, and then it warmed with his desire to join the girls, if indeed that was what they were. They teased and flaunted themselves at him, but Tommy's discipline wouldn't through. Averting his eyes and thinking of Becky, his rifle, he nodded his head politely. Ladies, please excuse me, but there is another special lady that needs my attention. He about turned and strode away. Behind him, the seductive voices howled in range and turned into cold, cackling laughter. He dared not glance back. He noticed a large tome laying propped against a tree and scooped it up. It had a disturbing script and images. Maybe he would sit down with the girls and show it them when he got back to Ulthar. Mandy was beginning to think that she had cracked the crux of the conundrum as Professor Rice was wont to quip. After examining some more manuscripts, she was able to determine that a vital clue was hidden in the darkest depths of the dreamlands, the underworld. She would need help, but unfortunately Tommy had left the previous evening to investigate the enchanted wood. She had hated to ask, but she had requested help from Gloria and Randolph. They were both in a bad way, but Mandy needed to have someone with her. Thankfully both had agreed without hesitation. Mandy was moved at the bravery of these two strangers, following her so willingly to one of the most feared parts of the dreamlands. After days of travelling into the shadows, they found themselves in ancient ruins. Following the directions Mandy had found, they pushed their way through the webs. In a courtyard, they had come across a glowing portal festooned with silk. The spiders are coming through here, said Mandy, who made to get up and go across. Wait, said Gloria, pointing. Sure enough, a hideous winged creature sat on a ruined wall guarding the portal. Mandy pulled out the parchment that she had taken from the corpse in the old spider's cavern. From the shadow she chanted the incantation, then she marched out to meet the beast, despite Randolph's protestations. It swooped down, shrieking, but Mandy was ready. She flung out her arms, and a wave of force radiated forth, ripping the skin off its wings like a storm stripping rotten sails from a mast. The screaming thing plummeted downward, thudding into the stone flags with a sickening crunch of bone. Mandy spoke to Gloria. Go to the temple. The clue is in there. I'm going to try and close this gate. We will meet back here, said Mandy, as she strode through the pulsating tear in reality. And here we are at the action phase. But our first player isn't Mandy this turn. Our first player this turn is going to be Gloria. So what's Gloria going to do? Well, for a first action, she is going to trade. And she's going to trade with Mandy. And she's going to give Mandy Randolph Carter. Gain plus two law and plus two will, which will be very helpful. Because those are gains, it means they stack. So she's got a gain plus one from the Agent of Secrets, so she will actually gain plus three on her law. She's already got a law of five, so that'll be up to eight. So that is excellent. And the plus two will will help counteract the impairment that she's got on will. So anyway, once per round during the action phase, you may reveal the top gate in the gate stack. If you do, you may put it on the bottom of the gate stack. So we're going to do that as well now. So even though he's part of a trade, he can still do that. So at the top of the gate stack is the pyramids, a blue constellation gate. So I'll put that over at the pyramids. She is also going to trade the Feed the Mind spell. So here it is. Action, test law minus one. If you pass, choose an investigator on your space to improve one skill of their choice. Then flip this card. So that is going to go to Mandy as well. Nothing is going back in the other direction. So that is it for her first action. For her second action, she is going to use the local path. If you recall, there is a local path from Buenos Aires to the underworld. So Gloria is going to go in the other direction and she is going to go to Buenos Aires. So let's pop across to Buenos Aires. And here we are at Buenos Aires and here's Gloria. 
freshly arrived from the underworld. Now, she has still got an action left because she used a local path. So she's going to use a travel action and she's going to go to space three because there is actually a clue there. And we are trying to get clues on the final mystery. So that is it for Gloria's action phase. Next up, Zoe Samaras. So let's go up to Unknown Kadath. And here we are with Zoe Unknown Kadath. What is she going to do for her first action? Well, for her first action, she's actually going to gain a focus. So we'll put that on a player tray. And for her second action, because she has less than two task assets, that means she can use a component action. And her component action is to gain a unique task asset. So let's get the deck. Quick shuffle. And a quick cut. Then we'll just go straight in. Oh, it's right on the top. We've got one right on the top when it focuses. Turning the tide, unique asset. At the end of the mythos phase, if Doom advances this round or the Ancient One has awoken, you may spend clues equal to half the investigators to flip this card. Well, hopefully we won't have to use this, but it does look pretty funky. So we'll put that on a player tray along with her focus. So that is it for Zoe. However, we'll stay here because Tommy Muldoon will be next. And here we are with Tommy. What is Tommy going to do? Well, first of all, he too is going to use a local path. So he is going to go to Ulthar. Then he is going to use a travel action. And he's going to travel to Dilath Lean. Again, we have a clue there. So we want to be making sure we're having a good go at picking clues up this turn to finish the mystery. So he's gone there with his first action. What's he going to do for his second action? Well, it's a city space. So he is going to try and acquire assets. So let's go over to the asset reserve and see what he can pick up. And here we are at the asset reserve. Now he's got an influence of three, but he is blessed. So let's see what he can do. Come on, Thomas. And unfortunately, he can only get one success. Now, Tony, his player, has mentioned that he's not going to take a bank loan. So with only one success, there is nothing we can pick up. We were hoping to get the dynamite. But if you recall, we do have an ongoing mythos card. And if we get a reckoning, then it's bad news for anybody who's got a deal condition. Let's see if got corrupted business, I think it's called. Let's have a look. Yes. Each investigator loses two sanity for each deal condition that they have, then discard this card. So what we'll do is we are not going to take a deal condition just in case we get a reckoning. So that is it for Tommy's action phase. Next up, it's our final investigator for this turn, who is Mandy. And here we are with Mandy. But just before we do Mandy's action phase, there's something I forgot. We're actually... Because we didn't buy anything from the reserve, we're actually going to get rid of something from the reserve. So we're going to get rid of the Arcane Scholar. Here he is. And uh, we're going to discard him and we're going to pick something new. So let's see if we get something else. Really? God, I'm rubbish at shuffling. Right, there we go. And a quick cut. Then whatever's on the top, we have the security squad for two, an ally. When resolving a combat encounter, you may use influence instead of strength. Okie dokie. Right, we'll put that on there. And now we can get on with what Mandy's going to do. First of all, Mandy is going to gain a focus. So we'll put that in a player tray. She's now got two focus. Then what she's going to do is she is going to cast her new spell, Feed the Mind. So it's a ritual, so she can do it as an action. Test law minus one. Her law is now eight. She's got five herself. She gets plus two. She gains, sorry, plus two from Randolph. And she also gains one from the Agent of Secrets. And they stack. 
So that'd be eight. Minus one is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. We need many successes. And we get many successes. Two, three, four. Woohoo! So let's have a look. So first of all, we can improve a skill of our choice. And secondly, we get resolve the effect based on your test result. Not to two. Casting the spell, you open yourself to terrible knowledge. Your mind is filled with gibberish. Repeating endlessly. Discard this card unless you lose two sanity. Well, phew, thank God. We got three plus. You manipulate memories and potential knowledge with a practiced ease. The chosen investigator may improve one additional skill of their choice. So we can improve two skills. That is brilliant. Why is it brilliant? Because we are going to improve. We are going to improve her will back up to two. And her observation back up to four. So we can get rid of both of these. Woohoo! So that worked out very well. Like every single roll I've made in this game, it's been untrue. Okay, so we've done well there. That is it. That is her second action. She's not going to do anything else. She's going to stay in the underworld. And that is it for the action phase for all our investigators. So let's move into the encounter phase. And here we are with Gloria on Space 3. Unsurprisingly enough, she is going to try for the clue, which means a research encounter. So we'll probably need the dice tower. So we'll grab that. And we certainly need a research encounter. So let's have a look. Go on, Glow. She's going for it with cursed dice. Let's see what we get. So we're on a C space. In a moment of clarity, a decrepit mariner claims to have been a thrall of the spider mother for most of his life. You ask him what he knows. Test influence. Remember, she's cursed. Her influence is three. Does she get anything from anyone? I don't think so. Well, just three cursed dice. She does have a clue. So she didn't do it. And is she going to spend the clue? Yes, she is. So she'll spend the clue. So she gets one more dice. Come on. Come on, Glow. A one. Rubbish. So unfortunately, Glow was unable to succeed. So we'll have to read what the fail condition is. If you fail, his mind is too far gone. Advanced doom by one. No! Right, doom goes down to five. It was a bit of a long shot with Glow, but she had a go. So unfortunately, that didn't pan out. So poor old Glow couldn't pick up the clue. Okay, so Glow has gone. Next up, it is Zoe Samaras. Let's get to Unknown Kadath. And here we are at Unknown Kadath, where she's going to do the adventure. So I think she's just got to do an encounter. As an encounter, an investigator on Unknown Kadath may unearth the secrets of the power that resides there. A law minus two. Now, it doesn't say resolve an encounter. It just says as an encounter. So I think we've actually got to pass to succeed at the adventure. So it's a law minus two. I don't think a law is that great. We'll need that. Her law is three. And she is not going to get any sort of help. No. The only law help she gets is when she's casting spells. And this isn't a spell. So she's going to get one die. <laughs> She does, however, have a focus, so come on Zoe, that's a two, she's going to spend that focus, come on Zoe, a five or a six, a three, damn it, 
we could be here a while yet. So we may yet get another turn. So unfortunately, she wasn't able to finish off the adventure. She's only got three law, which is a bit of a downer, really. Okay, who is going to go next? Tommy Muldoon is next. At least he is blessed. So let's get to Dilath Lean. And here's Tommy at Dilath Lean. Obviously, he is going to do that research encounter for that clue. Because we need it. Zoe was unable to complete the adventure to advance the mystery. So we need a clue desperately. Come on, son. Let's be having it. And it is a city space. You feel the lightest of touches on your shoulder and spot a spider crawling towards your neck. Test observation. Dun, dun, dun. What's his observation? His observation is three. Does he get any benefits? Oh, Book of the Dead gets plus two. So he's actually got an observation of five. He's got a focus. He should be able to do this with blessed ice. So he's got five. And he gets four successes. He gets five successes. <laughs> All fours and above. So he's actually done that. So we're on city, aren't we? If you pass, you definitely swat it and it releases a burst of arcane mist when it dies. Gain this clue and one talent condition. So we've got the clue. The clue is going straight on the mystery. But he also gets a talent condition. So that. I'll take it off the bottom. And he gets Moxie again. It took us ages to find Moxie. I don't think you can have the same one. don't think you can have two. So pull again. And we get Elusive. Talent. During the encounter phase you may test Observation. If you pass you may choose an encounter as if there are no, no monsters on your space. Then flip this card. Groovy. So that is it for Thomas. Brilliant. He's put us in with a shout so we'll put this back and what is next it is Mandy next so let's get down to the underworld and see if Mandy can finish this baby off and here we are with Mandy now the first thing she's got to do is she has got to do a clairvoyance spell because she hasn't got a clue on her space so we'll need this let's get rid of Tommy's dice and there we go, let's have a look at Clairvoyance. Remember, she does have the Agent of Secrets and Randolph. So we will be rolling eight dice. Brilliant. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Surely, surely, come on. And we got a six. We only got one success. But that's all we needed. Let's flip it over. I don't think it's too good on this. On this, You peer through the eyes of vengeful, vengeful spirits that whisper horrible secrets to you. Lose one sanity unless you gain a paranoia condition. We'll lose the sanity. That's fine. Don't mind losing the sanity. So that puts her on to five sanity. Let's just sort that out. Put a three in, get two back. So she's on five sanity. I'm going to save her focuses and her clues that she has for the important test, which is obviously we are now going to pick a clue that we're going to go after with a research encounter. Now, I think we are going to go for a city one. So what we'll do is we will pick Helsinki. Yeah. Space 14 clue. So that's the one we're going to go for. And let's get the research deck. Come on. City. 
Peering through translucent cobblestones, you can see a sea of stars beneath. You study the strange phenomenon, which is observation. Well, we would have preferred law, but her observation's good now. If you remember, she did actually manage to get rid of the impairment. So she's got an observation of four. She has two clues, two focus, and the agent of secrets which also gives her an observation, so that's five. And one of these clues we can use to re-roll any number of dice when resolving a test. So we will use the magnifying glass as well. We should have this in the bag. So we're going to be rolling five dice. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. And look at that, we failed. So we are going to spend a clue. And we're also going to use and tap the magnifying glass. So we may spend one clue to re-roll any number of dice. So we're going to spend one. So let's re-roll these. Five dice and didn't get a success. I don't believe it. So one, two, three, four, five. Another five dice. And we got a six. <sighs> that was a bit closer than what we wanted. If you pass, you realise it is a projection of the spider mother's lair. Gain this clue. Woohoo! So we've gained the clue. Not interested in the fail condition. We have got this clue. This clue is going straight on the mystery. Excellent stuff. Okie dokie, let's get rid of all this. That is the end of the encounter phase and we have four clues on our mystery. Fabulous. Okay, let's get into the laugh and chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase. Let's see if there's a sting in the tail, I very much doubt it. But let's have a look. So here we go. And we've got that rumour. The second rumour comes out, but it must be too late now. First of all, we get two clues. Let's dig those out, get the clue bag. There we go, not many left now. First one is, what's that? Sydney. Clue on Squidney with the LIGO. Next we have, uh, come on, so that's space six, which is the deep south. Okay, so we've done those, so now straight to the rumour, and it's on Shanghai. Mandy spent most of the game there, so we need four Eldritch tokens, and we'll we may as well do it right. Let's, Let's get, get the a proper rumour token as well. There we go. And let me pop them there. Okay, right. So let's read it. Dozens of opium addicts have been discovered trapped in a catatonic state. Their minds are now conduits between reality and the world of dreams. Dream of Lands Beyond. Ongoing rumour. As an encounter, an investigator on Shanghai may attempt to free the victims from their catatonic state before dreams and reality become one. Test observation. If they pass, they may spend clues equal to half the investigator to solve this rumour. So ah, it wasn't too hard to solve. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, spawn gates equal to two plus the number of investigators. That would have been six gates. Then solve this rumour. So it might have been quite easy to solve, but you had to solve it six gates. That is tough, especially with that Atlatch Natcher. On Arachnin, yeah, just discard Eldritch tokens off the card. So, whew. so as I say, it was quite easy to solve, but you had to make sure you solved it. That was one we would have had to have solved. Not like, um, what is it? drawn through the gate, which we could leave, that one we had to solve. Okay, so that is the end of the Mythos phase. So, it's in the bag. 
So we've got four clues on the mystery. Here they are. One can now there. And let's just check we're right. At the end of the mythos phase, if there are clues on this card equal to the number of investigators, solve this mystery. And we have. So there we go, we have one. There's a bit of a break there. I had to have another hacking cough, I'm afraid. I'll try and quickly get through this. My voice is really struggling to hold out. So thank you so much for watching. Few words to the players. Brilliant. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jeremy. You did great work with the flavour text. You did great work with strategies and uh, with ideas. Thank you very much. And you always posted your actions on time. That was brilliant. Thank you very much. So uh, it was a pleasure to be at Latch Natcher with you. Thank you so much. Don't forget anybody else who's watching. Anybody can join in on one of these. I do put a thread up on tube tables. I will mention in it in a video just before we start a new playthrough that uh, you know anybody can join. Please feel free to join. There is a list there and get in the queue. It'd be great to see some more players. Okay, what to do now? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'll have to think on it. But uh, in the next week or so, I will think about a new playthrough. I'll probably do a game I haven't done before. I've got a few on the launch pad. There is Enjoy the Stars. Too Many Bones is on its way, apparently. I've got Lobotomy. And uh, I've still got Secrets of the Lost Tomb. So I might play that because it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's in the back of my mind that I need to play it and quickly. So I may well do that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for all the subscriptions and for all the views and for all the likes. It really does mean a lot. Thanks for pointing out all the errors. If you've seen any in this episode, please point them out. I won't be able to fix them, but it's important they are there for posterity in order to show me up as an idiot. So please do post if I have missed anything. Hopefully it's nothing too major and we have still won the game. Other than that, I think, yes, that is pretty much it. Oh, yes, thank you to everybody who's been to Board Game Links to upvote the site or been across to BGG to comment on the videos or to upvote the threads or whatever. Thanks so much. It is much, 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 much appreciated. You are all stars. Thank you very much. So I think that is it. I don't think there's anything else to mention. So thanks very much. I will see you next time. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.